This is the grandson of Right Thought. So, I just want to talk to my people. I want to remind you how strong you are. How tough you are. How resilient you are. Truly how strong of a people we truly have been. To have gone through all of the, all of the things that we've gone through. <laughs> and still be standing. Still be fighting for those things that are within us. To share. To be kind. To forgive. To hope for the best. To see the best in others. Those things that are innate to us as a person that we forgot along the way. That we had to be reminded about. Now see, now Abba has brought us to a place of remembrance so that we could see each other again. Not the mistakes that we make along the path, but the goodness in the heart of the person that's trying to do the right thing. The person that's attempting to do their, to do their best every day to perform the right things. And that's why love hopes all things, see? Those who truly love, we hope all things because people make mistakes, they fall, they stumble. We all do. But are you going to be the one that's going to ridicule the one on the ground or are you going to be the one to help that person up? Knowing what it feels like to have been knocked down yourself. And we as a people, we've been knocked down. I mean, when you lose your name, you lose your land, you lose your identity, then you've lost it all. When someone can tell you who you are and you fall for it and believe it, then you've lost it all. If they can tell you what belongs to who and you'll fall for it and believe it, then you've lost it all. <laughs> so we know what it feels like as a people to have lost it all. And we as a people are about to watch all the other people lose it all and experience what we experienced. And like I always say, what are we gonna choose today? Truth and love or fear and lies? And when we see that happens to these other nations, how will we respond? <laughs> it all depends on what's in that heart. We have to remember our strength. The fact that you can go through what we've gone through for the past 400 years and still be trying to be kind to still have forgiveness in there? To still have that as your nature? It's pretty profound. It's really profound. So you have to understand that you're very strong even when you feel like you're not. Even when you feel like you're not. You see, because you've carried your bloodline up until this point. Up until this point, you are at the finish line of your bloodline. And will you drop the torch now? The baton? Will you drop it at the finish line because you're tired? Or will you look back and will you remember what your ancestors went through? Because you're here. So somehow your bloodline prevailed. It exists. Despite all of the torture all of the nightmares, all of the terror. See, because that's us as a people, we've been through terror for hundreds of years under the hand of an oppressor. This can't be denied by anybody. This can't be denied. So how do you think your livelihood has been all these years? Hard laborious, strenuous, frightful, terrible, heinous at times, miserable, agonizing, but you're still here, then you can still smile, 
you can still attempt at giving your best to this thing we call love, giving it your best shot. Nobody could go through the things that we've gone through as a people and still coexist with the enemies and be kind and forgiving. Because like I said, great distress is coming upon the world. We've been liberated. And so as we rise, we will see others fall. Just as when they rose, you fell. See, two opposites don't mix. It's like oil and water. You can't force oil and water to mix. No matter how much you stir it, it's going to separate. And it's just that way with you and your enemies, Israel. You try to stir them together, they just the oil just globs up in smaller globs. <laughs> it never actually just mixes in with the water and becomes one with the water. It stays separate, even if it's a small little, first it's a big glob, you stir it up, you stir it up, this is a small little, small little glob, but it always stays separate from the water. You see? And it's the same thing with you and your enemies. If the Most High says you're separate, then can you change it? If he says you're oil, then can you change that, Israel? Because you want it to be changed? Nope. You are the salt of the earth. Everything that's done on the earth, when you evolve yourself in it, it becomes tastier, Israel. It becomes more exciting. You see? And this can't be denied. <laughs> you take any sport, you take Hebrew Israelites out of it, so-called Negroes, you take them out of the equation. Let's just see how the sport is played without their involvement. And then you add them and let's see if it's a little saltier. You play some music and people start dancing. There's no Negroes there, but as soon as Negroes come there, let's see if the dancing gets a little more spicier and tastier. <laughs> Everything that we do is like that. Not some things, not a few. Everything that we do is spicier. It's tastier. You see? And it's like I say, it can't be denied. So then you shouldn't deny it either. Except the, the fact that you are this, this elect people of the Most High who, who've gone through these things and who have embodied these things in the 3D and demonstrated them to the whole world and now your redemption is going to be re be shown to the whole world as well so I know it's difficult at this time because it's like birthing pains you have to think about how you feel as a pregnant mother that's why we as a people right now we ain't hardly eating or nothing you can't hardly eat anything like you think you're hungry and as soon as you start eating you're just like uh, you take a few bites you're like uh, uh. the things you used to love you're like mmm I'm straight because we change it we activate so it's like being birthed see you're being birthed everything is being birthed new you see that so you're going through the birthing pains the birthing pains so right now we're at the point where like you know how the woman is like walking down the baby and she's like I just want to just have this baby oh my goodness she's tired <laughs> she's just tired of being pregnant she does not want to hold this baby no more She's like, baby, come on, come on. That's how we all feel right now. We're just waiting. Like this. <laughs> We're just waiting for the contraction. For the contraction to hit. We've had some contractions, Braxton Hicks. But now we're waiting for the contraction. The earthquake. The... They, it, it, think of it like an EMP similar type of event <clears throat> instant <clears throat> switch in vibration the birth she knows she can't go back now the mother knows she can't go back once the baby's like oh i'm coming down the birth canal she's like okay yep she's dilated the baby's coming down the head's coming down she feels it she knows and then the mother and the child are going to work in unison together as a team to bring this newness into existence and so are you so these birthing pains that you feel, the stress, the irritation, 
the shortness, the disinterest. Just like a pregnant woman that's ready to have a baby. She ain't interested in nothing, but just get this baby on so I can just get back to living. And that's how we feel. That's how we feel. And what do they try to do to the woman in this world when she's about to have a baby? They try to strap her down to a table, put a bunch of monitors on her, make her lay back on an unnatural position and push her legs back, make her push in a natural way. When they say push, instead of letting nature take its course and letting that woman squat and catch her own baby and let gravity pull that baby down, help that woman, nature. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be like that woman. We're going back to nature. See, we're just going to. Through the contractions. We're going to breathe. Though it may hurt. It may be tight. It may last. But then it subsides. And we work with the baby. Through the labor the newness of life so just accept their strength mother <laughs> accept it and push that baby out and catch your baby and love on your baby and rub that vernix all over that baby and get it all nice and supple put the baby to your breast leave the cord alone don't mess with it let nature take its course see the one